When I claim that there was a worldwide flood, I, I get laughed at. I get laughed at. I get laughed at. But this planet is covered three-fourths in water. If the planet flooded like the Bible says, the Grand Canyon could have been formed in about five minutes. This is a geographical map of the United States. This is the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is about 300 miles long. In order to travel from one end of the canyon to the other in five minutes, it is required that you would be traveling at about five to six times the speed of sound. The Grand Canyon could have been formed in about five minutes. I get laughed at in about five minutes. I get laughed at. Scientists have been desperately trying to find water on other planets. However, the search is futile. Well, not really. There was the Mars Global Surveyor probe, which has found evidence that water has been flowing on Mars within the last five years. Then, of course, there's the Mars Express probe, which has taken pictures of water ice on Mars and revealed massive deposits of water ice under the Martian poles. Then there's the Cassini Huygens probe that has taken pictures of water ice on Titan. Three of the four large Jovian moons are composed mostly of water. It is likely that Europa has oceans under the frozen surface created by tidal heating from Jupiter, similarly with Ganymede and Callisto. Almost all the moons of Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are ice balls too, as are most of the comets. It's difficult to contrive that anyone could make a more uneducated statement on the status of water in the solar system than Scientists have been desperately trying to find water on other planets. However, the search is futile. Yet this planet, this amazing planet, just so happens to have, you know, 100% of the water in the whole solar system. Well, let's ignore for the moment the water on Mars, the gas giants. Let's ignore the water on the moons of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Let's ignore all the Cuba Belt objects, such as Pluto, Sedna, and of course all the comets. Here's an interesting thing about water. Uh, where did it all come from? We can't find, like, a speck of H2O in outer space. Is there still no water in the universe? Bollocks. Water is the second most common molecule in the universe. The reason for this is simple. The elemental composition of the universe by atom percent is about 92% hydrogen, 8% helium, the third most common element in the universe is oxygen, and there's less than one atom percent of it. Helium, of course, doesn't form any compounds, so the most common molecule in the universe is hydrogen, H2. The second most common molecule in the universe is H2O, water. I get laughed at. There is a small zone around every star called the habitable zone, where liquid water is possible. Our Earth happens to be in a perfectly spherical orbit around our star. Perfectly spherical orbit around our star. The Earth's orbit is not a perfect sphere. It's not a sphere. It's not even a circle. The Earth's orbit around the Sun, like all planetary orbits, is elliptical. And this has been known for about 400 years. I get laughed at. However, if the Earth was a mere 5% closer to our Sun, we would cook like Venus. Now, if our Earth was a few percent away from our Sun... By a few percent, you fail to mention that this is 37%. This is about 50 billion meters, almost out as far as Mars. I get laughed at. The Grand Canyon could have been formed in about five minutes, yet this planet, this amazing planet, just so happens to have, you know, 100% of the water in the whole solar system. We can't find, like, a speck of H2O in outer space. Our Earth happens to be in a perfectly spherical orbit around our star.